Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jules Emiway here. Please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. For today, I'll definitely be going in with new products like Laura Mercy, Artist Couture, etc. Also, stay tuned to see this soft glam look for all you lovely, simple and effective chicas out there. I hope you guys are staying safe indoors. Please do not go out if you don't need to go out. Please stay safe as much as possible because to be honest, to the rate in which people are dying, it's ridiculous, honestly. Even for my eyes, I'll be taking my P. Louise base in rumor number six. I'm just patting that in. How are you guys? quarantining going or how is life at home like are you guys enjoying it like what have you guys been up to palette i'll be going in with my jacqueline hill volume 2 palette i'll be using this and this shade today so those shades are comfort zone and love handle keeping it real neutral today peachy neutral I'm now taking comfort zone C shape. I'm gonna take love handle to put on the outer corners to blend it out. Keeping it real simple. I'm gonna take my inkblot liner, but I'm just gonna do a thin line. I don't want anything too dramatic for this look. Lashes are way more dramatic than I'd ever go for, but because we're just chilling today, why not? For my face base, I do have a few new products to use. Primer, I'm going to go in with my Elf Potty, my Elf Potty Primer to prime my face. For today's corrector, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury corrector in 310 and this is the I think this is the second darkest shade if I'm not mistaken just gonna take this brush and pat this on because we're trying to go for a flawless base today Now that I've corrected my dark spots, I'm now going to take my Laura Mercier foundation and this is new to my collection and I've purchased the shade 5C1 which is Nutmeg, that's how the shade looks like. Now I haven't used it as yet so I don't know if it's going to come off orange or what the case may be so you'll definitely be seeing that today. So that is one, I think, pump. It's foundation because I've heard a lot of good reviews about it, but remember, not because something works for someone means it's going to work for you. So that's why I'm testing it out here for you guys today. And in the future, if there is if I use it again and I have updates about it, I'll definitely get back on camera and let you guys know what I think about it. I'm going to go in with my peaches and cream brush and I'm using the PC19 to pat my foundation in. Now this foundation does come off a bit warm for me. But we're going to try and make it work.
I have to blend all the way down on my neck because my neck is darker than my chest and I do prefer to match my chest The foundation does have a scent, like a coffee char chocolatey scent. I don't have a clue, but it just has a night. The scent is not, it's, all I know is it doesn't have that chemically smell to it. That I know for sure. You can see that it's a bit orange for me. But hopefully when I'm using the concealer, it will definitely look much better. This foundation is full coverage. And it feels silky smooth on the skin. You can see that it looks a bit orange on camera. I'm now going to take my Laura Mercier Concealer. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wearing Concealer in 5N. That's so 5 neutral. And this is what the packaging looks like. Now, to me, the to me the packaging does kind of remind me of the Pat McGrath Concealer. But to be honest, the Pat McGrath one is definitely glass casing, whereas this one feels more plasticky. So I'm going to take this concealer in areas that I prefer to highlight. And that is under my eyes. my chin, my upper lip, my nose bridge, and my forehead. Now here you can definitely see more that the foundation is more orange, so I'm looking a bit oompa loompa-ish. So I'm going to definitely blend At that out At this point right I realized now. that my sponge was a bit too wet. So you can definitely see how eventually this will look or match closer to my skin tone as i mentioned previously that my sponge was a bit too damp it did remove a bit of my product so i will be going back in with more concealer i always leave my under eye last because i prefer to have this blend out seamlessly before i go in with my under eye I think I do need to go in with a bit more of the concealer under here because I can still see a dark spot on my chin peeking through So you can see how this foundation looks right now on top of and this concealer on top of the foundation you can see how seamlessly it's blended in looking real freaky i'm not 100 percent on the color shade with the foundation but it's definitely workable using the correct undertone concealer I'm liking how this is looking so far I do think I want to go with one more coat of the concealer under my eyes to see how it fills up because this concealer does feel very thin or lightweight on the skin so I'm going to take my sponge and go in one more time
it feels like I do not have anything on my face that's why I'm able to build this concealer and foundation up um, me personally I do own the Laura Mercier translucent and the deep, medium deep powder which I've put in my makeup kit because I personally do not like none of them on me personally on my clients it looks very flawless using the setting powders but for me personally as I said I do not like it for myself so for today's setting powder I'll definitely be going with my go-to setting powder which is my Maybelline powder in 30 deep this is it right here I'm really liking how everything is coming together so far so I'm gonna take my sponge make sure I go back under my eye to make sure no creases are there I'm gonna switch my sponge to the semi clean side and pat this in I love how this setting powder just sits on the face real nice it blends in real smooth and it's definitely finely milled this setting powder beats all my high-end setting powders, so I'm not going to lie to you. I'm now going to take my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Coconutty to set my preferred ears, which is right here. And I prefer a natural contour than a harsh bronzer or contour. And this is one of my favorite bronzers to use. I cannot wait to purchase the cream bronzer, even though I'm not, even though I'm not a lover of cream contouring, I'm definitely gonna purchase the fancy cream contour it's like a must it's a staple like Fenty is one of my top brands like all-time favorite top brand like I definitely purchase a lot of things from each launch that comes out hopefully one day I'll be on the PR list so I'm to dust this off I'm gonna take my go-to setting powder all over setting powder in which is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the shade Chai. I'm gonna pat that on. And then I'm gonna put it all over my face to set the rest of my face. This powder is beautiful on the skin. Don't you see? Now I'm going to take my current favourite blush, which is the Charlotte Tilbury blush in Pillow Talk Cheek to Cheek, cheek to Cheek Intense. And this one is the darkest one, but it does show up on my skin. And one thing I love, I love about this blush is that it looks flawless on the skin and not only that, it is buildable coverage so it's not one of them blushes that starts off real intense and you have to be like, oh hell no, I have to go rub that off or something like that so that's one thing I do love about this blush and any powder that I use or product that I use on top of what I've said already, I always do go back in with this brush to make sure everything is seamlessly blended in. For highlighter, I do have some new products, which is my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. And this one is in the shade Lickable. This is how his packaging looks like for Artist Couture. 
I do own a few things from his line and I've either purchased it from either his site or Beauty Way but for this one I did purchase on his site and it was on discount for $13. This does come with a Swiss top and it does come with the plastic but I did take the plastic off but I'm gonna take a little on my fan brush which is from Morphe times Britman, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna take this. Oh my God, this shit is blinding. Oh my days. I really like it so far. And I love the color. I don't feel like I have a color like this in my collection. That's one reason I was super excited in purchasing this. You can see how blinding that looks like seriously that looks so beautiful you can see the sheen on it as well doing the same thing on the other side and my nose look at that sheen i didn't have to spray my brush or anything look at that sheen I'm basically just taking what's left in the cap and just swirling it around. You don't even need a lot, a little, a little bit goes a long way from what you could see right now. And I really love this. I may purchase more of his highlighters in the future, definitely. Definitely, look at that sheen and I love the color. It's like a rose gold color can see a swatch right there don't mind this green paint as basically testing out some new products that I've gotten and I was playing with it but look how beautiful that looks now for the lipstick I'm gonna go in with his new lipstick from his new collection which is the supreme nude collection and I've only purchased one item from it and is the lipstick in Saucy Gal or Saucy Gal and this is how the packaging looks like I'm here trying to check it out so this is how the packaging of the lipstick looks like I love how simple and effective it is this is the color of the saucy gal I, I did want to get the shade in power play but it's out it's sold out so definitely when it returns on site or if it comes on beauty bay I'll definitely purchasing it but for today, I'll definitely be going in with a demo of this lipstick. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Lip Liner. And this one is Trendsetter to line my lips. And I like to start lining my lips by my Cupid's bow first. Shaping it out. And then I go to the bottom part of my lip. And that's how I line my lips. I'm going to take my lipstick once again. It's in the shade Saucy again. I'm going to do my lips. It smells amazing. It really smells amazing. And it is very creamy. It's creamy as my KKW Beauty lipsticks, but it's still very creamy. i just taken my Wet n Wild pencil to put in my what? This is the full frontal mascara. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You can also leave a comment down below 
to let me know what you guys would like to see me rev either review on my channel or what type of looks you guys would like to see me do or recreate just let me know let's build a conversation in the comments bye until next time